These are what I used to hold my surface mount parts. Real nice. A little latch here, you just flip it, and down inside are the parts. These are available off of eBay. I'm sure, I can't do it. Run the camera at the same time. They work very well. Two hundred, two and thirty-nine oh fours, plus or minus a few. Down there, there's a couple hundred uh, one in forty-one forty-eights. Filament set up. Camera sits here vertically. The boards held in a horizontal position, and I'm soldering from left and right side. One of the keys to doing the surface mount soldering is have a fine solder. I use .015 solder, having a fine tipped iron, and a little solder flux helps too, make it flow a little better. And let's assemble a couple parts here. I have a solder flux pan. We're going to put this resistor on right here, we'll just get a little flux on the board. And next thing we're going to add a little dot of solder. I'm going to move my resistor over there and it's just tipped upside down on me. These are 0805 resistors. It'd be a lot easier if I had the 1206s, but they didn't come in. So I grip a resistor, I move it over, heat tack it. and I need to position it more to the left. It wouldn't be so much of a problem if I had the right size resistors. So now that I've got it tacked, I'm going to come back and solder the other side. Add just a touch more solder on the original side, and it's done. Mark that one off in the drawing. We're going to do the one down and to the left next. Mm -hmm. This one's a 220. It's two two with one zero. Oop, that lifted up on me. Still up on the one end, it looks like. Okay, that end's done, so we'll do the other end. Uh, 
and that's done. We'll do a transistor next. The board actually needs to be rotated 90 degrees to make this easy. I just pop the transistor off. This is harder to do too because the camera is in the way. I'm going to see if I can't take a little bit of that solder off next to the resistor using a piece of solder wick. I'll make that pad smooth. That's not the pad I want to put the dot on. I can get into this pad easier. We go right like that. Got it tacked. and our transistor soldered in. We'll just heat that up, get a little better flow. And that's that. Next one we'll do is a diode. Just make sure you get the cathode the right direction. And it's just a real light brown band. And that was easy enough. Next we'll do a capacitor. They're, they're bigger. So what we've been doing is the hardest ones. These are 1206 size. To do this I'm going to have to turn the board so I can because I can need to work left and right. I can't can't work top and bottom very well.
The first one just a tack, so we'll come back and make it look prettier after we get the other end down. You're using 0805 resistors, and the board is designed for 1206s. You need to be really careful placing them so that the silver band doesn't catch the ground connection that's running underneath here, or it, it shorts out. So I'm going to turn the board back now. Turn that around so the letters are the way.
One last part in this section is done. And now we'll stop and we'll do a higher magnification examination to, to look at things and just clean up the, the ones that we I couldn't get here using the uh, camera viewfinder. Here it is, it's all been defluxed and cleaned and it's all ready to test. And you saw the assembly of the complete thing. So that's how easy it is. It's actually easier than what it was with me doing it on the camera because normally I'd have more magnification than what I have here.